What's going on ESGA Nation and welcome back to another episode here of the Highland Scotties Team Builder Dynasty episode 96 as we're back here for week 11 and today we are on the road here in Western Kentucky taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Take a look at the season offensive numbers here. This should be a good game. I want to say that. I, I, I want to say we can come out here and blow the, the blow the doors off of them, but I could be very wrong. I've been very wrong here as of late when it comes to these matchups here. Obviously, we're the heavy favorite here. We're 8-0 uh, overall with 4-0 in the Big 12. Of course, the Hilltoppers new to the Big 12. They are 2-2 two two in the Big 12 play. They are 4-4 overall in the season right now. Hilltoppers, of course, uh, had a big, big win uh, over uh, teams like uh, Hawaii uh, back in week one. Uh, and then, of course, to uh, and, and then also a big win over Florida State uh, a couple weeks ago there. As you take a look at uh, some of their uh, numbers in there for the weeks that, that have gone past them. Uh, week three, they won a road game against Marshall 38 to 21, uh, but then they would go on to lose three straight, especially in an overtime loss against Troy, 41 to 34. So Hilltoppers right now currently on a two-game winning streak here, uh, and looking to go for a third, uh, a three or third after a overtime win last uh, last week against BYU. Uh, and they won that one 30, uh, 43 to 40 uh, in an overtime. So. Uh, could the Hilltoppers, just like uh, Kansas State last week, put us on upset alert and cause some friction for us? Of course, you remember last week, last episode there, we had against Kansas State. Had some trouble in the first half with Kansas State, uh, especially offensively. Uh, we uh, got picked off, uh, what, three or four times in that, in that first half and could not get in the end zone at all. It wasn't until the latter part of the third quarter that we were able to get into the end zone. And just take a look at Jasper's numbers, Reed's numbers are from this last week. Of course, he is still one of the top favorites for the Heisman. But last week, he did not show Heisman-like quality, even though he threw for five, over 500 yards there that game. Did have two touchdowns, but he had six interceptions there in that game. So we'll see if we can turn things around here. As so we do have the ball here first, kick off here as Hilltoppers uh, elected to kick instead of receive here. So they'll get the ball at the half. As uh, Gibson there makes a nice stop there on Davison. Second and 11 coming up here for the Scotties as they'll hand this one off to Davison here. And Davison runs right up the middle, no problem. Gets a gain of 11, but it's just a yard short of getting to the first down marker. So third and one coming up here, of course. You know this will be a short yardage play here. It's going to either go to a fullback or a halfback. And it's going to go to Davison there who gets the carry. And makes the uh, makes the enough there just for the first down, so a nice job there of converting there on the third down. First ten coming up here after the third down conversion. Play action here from Reed, and like I said last week, it was a really tough week for him. As this time he runs four out of four yards there. I don't think he realized where he was at on the field. Loses four yards there, puts a second and fourteen. But yeah, that game against Kansas State, of course, both Kansas teams, Kansas and Kansas. Uh, Kansas and Kansas State both gave us a uh, run for our money here as of late, which should be because, you know, we're, you know, this, you know, this league is starting to, you know, toughen up some and uh, play some better defense. Uh, and that's what we're, we're going for here. But at the same time, uh, you know, they're not pushovers anymore. They're starting to recruit better. Uh, that they know that they're not the only team in the state. I see a pass play there to Little, and Little gets into the end zone there. Great play. 28 yards on the reception. First touchdown of the day here for the Scotties. Great play as that is going to be a great throw. And I believe that is touchdown number... It's touchdown number 12 for Little. First 10 coming up. For the Till Toppers, as they'll have this one to Jerome Bass, he will get a carry there for a couple of yards. Makes it a third and seven coming up. We'll see Kane here draws back, throws this one there to Bass. Is Bass going to run this one? And he's only going to get two yards on that screen pass. Puts that a fourth and five coming up, so they'll be forced to punt. 
First hand coming up after the punt. We'll see Reed here. Drops back, scrambles off to the right-hand side, looking down the field here. Looking for a big pass there to Godfrey, who made a huge catch last week there in that Kansas State game. It looks like he could be doing that again here today against the Hilltoppers, as that's a nice 30-yard reception. And again, another first down for the Scotties. So first and 10 here, Reed looking very confident in that pocket. And uh, looking uh, look like he has a strong arm here today. And so snap the ball here, first and 10. And we'll see a pass there, and that one oh, gets broken up there by Greg Smith. Oh, boy, we don't need another Smith on our butt. As uh, Smith there for Kansas State had a really nice day. I think he had three interceptions alone off of Reed. Second and 10 coming up. Reed here drops back in the pocket. That one's going to get thrown there to Goffrey. Goffrey gets it, snags it, and gets 15 yards on the reception. That's another first down here for Kansas. Or excuse me, for, uh, Tech, or for uh, Highland as they get another uh, move, they move the chains. Let's see now a handoff there to Davison. And Davison comes out of the backfield. Not like a cannon like he was last week. He had a nice 77-yard uh, uh, carry. But he'll get three yards on this one, making it second and seven. Reed drops back here, finds Goffrey again. Goffrey goes there. He stumbles into the end zone there. Touchdown, Highland Scotties. As that's the second touchdown, or, uh, second touchdown, or passing touchdown of the day here from Reed. And the first of the day here for uh, our boy, Goffrey, who now has, I believe, uh, 14 touchdowns now for the season. And of course, that is touchdown number 37, 37, 38 now for Jasper Reed. As uh, we'll see, uh, Woodard there runs this one there. Kane here drops back in the pocket, and Kane's gonna get taken down. Nice stop there, as Drew Kane, not Jacob Kane, as Drew Kane gets uh, tackled there for the loss. Third and 16 coming up here for the Hilltoppers. As uh, Drew Kane here drops back, throws this one to Bass, and Bass going to be met up there with Owen as Owen gets a nice stop. And it'll be a fourth and 16, and that'll be a punt situation there for the uh, Hilltoppers. First 10, as there's 432 left here in the first quarter. 14 0 lead here from Highland, and that's going to be a three yard carry. And that's going to be actually a loss of three there, I should say. A second and 13 coming up for the Scotties. Hilltoppers here trying to make a stop. As Reed here drops back in the pocket, looking down the field here. Can't really find nobody here. He's got to get rid of the football there, but he, instead he drops back too far. Got to get rid of the football there, Reed. As Greg Smith makes the tackle there. A nice sack there for 15. Third and 28 coming up. This is obviously going to be a passing situation here. So we'll see a pass there to Ramirez. Ramirez trying to break a tackle. He does so. Finds the first down marker and gets 32. Gets a huge first down there for the Highland Scotties as they're able to keep this drive alive. First and 10 after the big play. Reed here now. Play action. Drops back in the pocket looking for a block. Good job there from Davison. Look, seeing there was a block being needed there. And Ramirez gets the catch for. 16 making a first down first and goal coming up here for Jasper Reed and the Scotties as the Scotties will drop back QB will drop back there to Ramirez Ramirez gets a back back uh, back uh, behind the back catch there for a, a nice reception second and goal coming up here looks like they're gonna try to keep it on the ground this time around they're gonna hand off to Davison oh Davison gets popped quick in a hurry there by James Wright Third and goal coming up. We'll see what they're going to try to do here on this third down. Looks like they're going to try to keep it on the ground again. We'll see if they can be successful this time around. Davis here goes off the edge there. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Highland Scotties. And the Scotties now taking a three possession lead here now. It's going to be 21 to nothing here against these Hilltoppers. Of course, Hilltoppers uh, got themselves uh, promoted from. Conference USA last season, and of course now being in the Big 12 here this season. Of course they gotta, they want to stick around with the Big 12 here. They gotta start winning games. You can't be one of the, uh, you can't be one of the bottom feeders, or the two of the bottom feeders in in uh, the North or South Division. I see second and seven coming up here. Taylor 
gets the catch, and that is going to be a 9 yard reception there for Bo Taylor. And gets enough there for the first down. So Kane now drops back in the pocket. Open, po open backfield there. Fisher gets the catch. Fisher's going to be brought down by Pope. And that's a five yard reception there to Fisher. And this is going to be a second and five here for the Hilltoppers. Hilltoppers get back on the line here quickly as they go with no huddle. And so we'll see Kane drops back in the pocket. Throws this one up there. That's going to go to Fisher. Fisher is going to be denied the first down. But he will get a couple of inches there on that play. On that nice reception. Third, third and inches coming up. Kane again drops back in the pocket. Throws this one there off the off of uh, one of the players there. As that's going to be a complete pass. And it's going to go ahead and get the ball back. By the way, the punt here for the Highland Scotties. And Scotty's now in play action. Reed drops back in the pocket. Reed's got to get rid of the football. Reed's going to get his number called. Reed's going to keep running. Reed drops the football. Fumble. This one's going to be picked up by Sheldon. And that is going to be a turnover there for the Highland Skies. Reed, what are you doing? The sideline's right there. You don't have to be tough. And he gets uh, clobbered there pretty good. Good hit on him. A clean hit. And the Hilltopper will now have a short field here now. Not much uh, space. Uh, pretty good, uh, decent space here for them to work, do some work here offensively. So first and ten coming up. 31 seconds left here in the first quarter. Kane drops back again. Fires this one to Gathers. Gathers gets the catch and tries to break off the tackle. 19 on the interception. First and 10. As uh, Drew Kane is 7 of 8 now here on today. Kane now here he gets met up there by a defensive end there. Nice play. As Olsen's there for the tackle. Loss of a play on that one. Loss of a couple of yards there on that play. Second and 16. Quick pass there to Bass. And Bass gets this one for a gain of six. And that's going to be it for the first quarter. Go to the second quarter here. 21 nothing. As the Hilltoppers will have the ball here to start off the second quarter. Kane drops back in the pocket. He is looking down the field here. Throws up the middle there. And that's going to be picked off by Blanchard. As Blanchard is going to try to stay in the, uh, he at least should stay in the end zone there to get a touchback and put that ball back on the 20 yard line for the Highland Scotties. As he did a great job there looking at the QB, looking at the QB's eyes and seeing where he's throwing at. We'll go now to a first and 10. And play action here from Reed. As he goes down the field here, and Reed here needs to be smart. He is this time as he slides. And he will be protected there on that play as he gets the first. First and 10 coming up here. Highland Scotty's here trying to move the football here through the air. Pass up the middle there. And that one gets tipped away by Whit Whitaker as that is going to be an incomplete pass. Thank goodness we don't need any more interceptions for our QB here. As we'll see here. Second and 10 coming up here. Reed calling an audible. Reed, look, dropping back here, finds Godfrey, and Godfrey gets the catch, and Godfrey gets a nice hit there, but he gets a gain of nine. Three for three on third downs here so far today. Third and one coming up here for the Scotties, as we'll see a play action here from Reed. Reed's going to drop back here. He's going to scramble. Reed's got to break a tackle here. He's going to go down the field here and he's going to be smart, get out of bounds, and he's already got the first down. So thank goodness uh, that someone yelled at him, get in, yeah, get out of bounds. Here you got the first. So first and ten here. Reed here again drops back here, breaks the tackle, looking down the field again, getting confused there. He's gonna. Oh my god, this kid's giving me a just the heebie-jeebies here. Give me a heart attack over in the booth as he runs, scrambles that one there. It's gonna put him now at a second and three. Third and three coming up. We'll see if they're gonna keep uh, the ball on the ground here. Hopefully not Reed with running it. Maybe with what other backs here is Davis here runs this one there. And Davis, nice run there. Does a little scramble move. Try to get away from the defender, but he will get caught up finally. As we have 10 first downs now here in this game. Hilltoppers only have two. Hand off there to the fullback Flanagan. And Trevor Flanagan gets a gain of three on the play. Put it second and seven coming up here for the Highland Scotties. As they are, of course, number one in the nation this week after... Michigan State took an L from last week, and now we're back at the top spot here in the NCAA. It's Reed here. Got to get rid of the football here. Reed, what are you doing? He drops the football. And the football's being recovered there. That's a loss of 13. That is a sack. But we are able to recover the football there. 
So, man, what is going on? Reed, come on. Come on. Do a better job here, bud. Third and 21. You don't have to make big plays every single time. Let's see making a big play there to Ramirez. As Ramirez gets a gain of 16 on the play. It's going to be a fourth and four coming up. And Ramirez, or Reed decides, uh, he tells coach, no, we're going to go for it here. And it's now Reed here. He got to get rid of the football here. Breaks off a tackle. Reed, get rid of the football. And he's going to be taken down on a sack. That's a turnover on downs. As the ball is now going to be placed at the 25-yard line of the Hilltoppers. And the Hilltoppers will have possession there. I don't know what Reed was thinking there, but you got to get rid of the football or go upfield. First and 10 for the Hilltoppers as Bass will get the ball. And he will run this one for a loss of two on the play. As uh, I look at it it's down here by the sidelines here of Highland, and Coach Bonds is just kind of scolding Reed here. Kane drops back in the pocket here. And Olsen gets the sack on Kane. As that's a loss of six on the play. Big uh, big play there from uh, Olsen. He's been really stepping up here as of late in this game. Third and 18 coming up. Kane again drops back here. Miller almost had him, but he's going to be throwing this one off to Bass. And Bass will be met up, met up by a group of Scotties for the tackle. And that will be it for their on that drive. As Scotties will get the ball back here on their own 25. Or excuse me, on their own 15, I should say. It's Reed here now trying to get around here, and he's trying to scramble. But he gets caught there by Greg Smith. His fourth sack of the day here on our QB. Second and 14 coming up here. Reed, and yeah, that's passed there. Was quickly passed as that was a uh, loss of a yard, I think, on that play. Third and 11. Play action here for Reed as this one gets thrown up there. That one's going to get broken up. As Cedric Holmes right there on the defense, on that uh, stop gets a deflection there. So now fourth and 11 coming up. Reed decides he somehow convinces the coach to let him go again here. And they get this one to Ramirez. But a flag is being thrown here. I think it's coming from the back of the offense, back of the line there from offense. And, yep, it is. It's going to be a holding call there on Davidson, which is un really unheard of. It's going to be a fourth and 19. And, of course, we're going to be smart here, and we're going to go ahead and punt. First and 10 coming up here for Kane. As he throws this one there to Gathers. As Gathers here along the sideline, he's going to be met at the 50 by a group of Scotties as he gets nine on the reception. Second and one coming up as we'll hand this off to, or the Bass will get that one handed off to him as he tries to break off a tackle there from Fowler. But Fowler's like, hell no, you're going down. You're going to have to drag me to the end zone. First and 10 coming up, Kane here decides to call his number instead. And Kane here going down the field here, mitts up with Moore. And they bring him down as Moore try to his best try to maybe hurt Kane on that play. <laughs> we'll see now it's first and 10 here from Bass. And Bass here gets thrown down as that is a one-yard carry there. Bass, five, ca uh, five carries for eight yards. Second and nine coming up for, for the kill toppers. This little man, man in motion, Jerome, trying to come out of the backfield there. He's going to lose two on the play. It's going to be a third and 11 coming up. We'll see what the Hilltoppers are going to try to do here. This, of course, is a pass situation. Third and 11. Kane, again, drops back here, looks here, fires this one deep, and Owen there bats it away. Nice stop there for him, his first deflection of the game. As the Hilltoppers now going to go for a field goal kick here. And Highland's going to call a timeout. But wait a minute. There's a false start. And looks like it's on the offense. It's on the Hilltoppers. So it'll be a fourth and 16 coming up over the Hilltoppers. Highland there. Go ahead. And they're going to go. And this one is up. And it is good. As the Hilltoppers get their first points on the board here. Take a look at the, sport, at the studio update. Virginia right now taking on number four, Pittsburgh. As you see there, 17-13 is the game right now with 205 left there in the second quarter. Pittsburgh currently 8-0. As uh, Davidson here runs this one out of the backfield for a gain of four. A lot of craziness has been going on here in the NCAA in the top 25 that have led a lot of teams that normally you would never thought we'd lose against other teams. You know, there's some been some upsets. Of course, last week we could have easily been one of those upsets there, but we were fine. We found a way to get get away from that. 
and uh, score some points there towards the latter half of the second half of the ball game. First and ten here for Reed as he drives back here in the pocket. He's gonna get almost get come out up there by Greg again as he throws this one away. It's gonna be a second and ten for the Scotties. Go to a third and ten here. Try to convert here for the first down. Looking for maybe a possible big play down the field. Reed here drops back in the pocket, throws this one up there. That's going to be broken up by Willie Hill. And that's another deflection there for the Hilltoppers as it's going to be fourth and ten, and we force the punt. First and ten coming up. Man in motion here for the Hilltoppers as Kane drops back in the pocket here. He gets hit by hard right as he tries to throw that football by Miller. Good job there from Miller making the stop, making the hit there before the throw. Or as he was throwing that one there. Second and 10. Screen pass there to Jerome Bass. And he's going to be met there by a couple of Scotties for a loss of two on that screen pass. So now we'll see a third and 12 coming up for the Hilltoppers. Hilltoppers looking to get something. Try to get something going here as we'll run this one instead by Bass. And Bass gets a couple good yards there on the carry. But not enough to get to the first down marker as they'll let's go ahead and punt this one here on fourth and five. Now, why are we showing this on fourth and five? Well, it's the end of the half. <laughs> as we go to the end of the half here, it is 21-3. Hyden leads this one here as the Hilltoppers, of course, having some tough time here. This quarterback, Drew Kane, I will say, he is a good quarterback. He's a decent quarterback here. He knows how to throw. He's got a strong arm here, but for whatever reason right now, he just cannot, uh, he's not making good, too many good connections down the field here. And of course, our defense doing a great job here. As you see that interception earlier we've seen uh, from Owen, or excuse me, Blanchard there making a nice stop. And of course, our quarterback issues, well, we've been having some issues there with Reed. You know, I don't know why he's holding on to the football there, but nonetheless, he's got to do a better job here, or he might be getting the old heave ho for the remainder of this game. We'll put our, one of our backups in. But uh, so far, really good game here. Just take a look there. Rushing could have been a little bit better there for us. We need to, do need to run the ball just a slight more. Uh, but for the most part, I think we're doing a great job. And we'll see if we can continue and uh, maybe even improve here as we go into the second half. First and 10 here for the Hilltoppers. As we'll see Kane here play action. There he see throws that one to Tyler Bo. Bo Tyler there, I should say for a six yard reception. First and 10 coming up here. Kane calling his own number here instead. And Kane going down the field and stiffs arms Collins, but he's gonna be out of bounds. Nice tough run there for the QB. First and 10 coming up here for Hilltoppers. Kane here, throw this one there to Jerome Bass. And Bass again is gonna be stopped in the backfield there. That's a loss of two yards on their reception. So now third and 12 coming up. We'll see what the Hilltoppers will try to do here. They're going to pass. Kane drops back in the pocket, looking down the field here. He's got to get throw. He's got to get rid of it here. Throwing this one. That one's going to get tipped away there by Blanchard. Blanchard already picked him off earlier before, and Blanchard just, I think if Blanchard was there a few more seconds sooner, that would have been an interception. First and 10 here after the uh, the uh, punt, and we'll see Reed here now looking going down the field here, looking for a block. And our hat, our fullback there, he really needs to get out of the way. Because <laughs> Reed, could, that could have been really ugly for us. But Reed makes a nice run there. Now second and three coming up. 31-3 here today in this game. As Reed here now is going to be looking down the field. He looks down the field too long because he's going to get sacked by no other than Greg Smith. His fifth sack of the day here by this man just alone. Really causing havoc there on that defensive on that uh, offensive line. And see here, Reed breaks off a tackle there. Reed going down the field here. Reed needs to be smart and slide, and he gets taken down. And he will get a uh, gain of 14 on that play, moving the chains here first and 10. Got to be smart, Reed, here. You're going to open field here at some point, or you're going to have to slide. You don't want to get hit. And we'll see Davidson here has the football here. Gets try to get around the defender. Gets round one, but it gets wrapped up by two others. And that's a gain of just a yard on that play. Second and nine coming up here for the Titan Scotties as Davison here in the backfield. We're just looking for a big run for from him. Hopefully this will be it. And see a toss play there. Good blocking there. And oh, he tried to get around that inset little hole there that he had. 
but couldn't weasel his way out of it, and that's going to be a loss uh, or be a short gain there. But just a couple. Third and eight coming up. We'll see what he's uh, Reed's going to do here in this one. As he drops back in the pocket, looking down the field here and looking at Robinson. As Robinson couldn't help him out there on that play, and they'll be forced to punt on a fourth and eight. So after the punt here, Hilltoppers have the football here back on their own 25. As we'll see, Kane here drops back here, throws the one there to Bo Taylor. Taylor is going to be taken there inside the 30. That's a gain of eight on that reception. Second and two. Kane here calls the number instead, and Kane's going to go down the field here as Blanchard trying to bring him down. Finally, a group of Scotties helps out, bringing down the QB for that first down. So good job there, moving the chains with his legs there that time around for Kane. And Kane says, you know what, why not? I did it before, I can do it again. And he does it again as he gets a gain of 14 this time. And again, another first down for the Hilltoppers. As Kane again drops back in the pocket, and he says, you know what, I can't find nobody here. But he finds more, and Moore's like, uh-uh, no, you're not going nowhere this time around. Go to a third and six coming up here. Kane again drops back here, finds Jerome Bass. Bass going to be met up, met up by Daniel Moore. As Moore gets a stop, and that's going to force him to kick a field goal here on fourth and six. But their flag is being thrown here. We'll see who it's on. And it's going to be a false start on the offense. That is going to be on the Hilltoppers. As there will be a fourth and 11 coming up here. So now, going for this uh, about a 51, 52-yard field goal attempt here. The kick is up, and the kick should be good. Yes, it is as they get three more points on the board. It is 21 to six here in Western Kentucky as the Hilltoppers trying to climb their way back into this ball game here. They still have about a half a, a quarter and a half yet to play to do so. We'll see if they can. It's a little now to a first and 10 here for the Highland Scotties and Reed drops back here in the pocket. And Davidson trying to do his best to get the block, but no, he's gonna be met up again there by Greg Smith. Craig Smith. A name that I'm getting tired of saying here now has now five or six sacks in this game. That's a school record of five. So he is now in the record books here in this game with those sacks. As Reed here drops back here, fires this one to Godfrey. And Godfrey, 12 yards on the catch. You see, oh, come on, let go of his leg there, Smith. As he tries to get a hold of the quarterback that time. I should be surprised the flag was not being called for unnecessary roughness. Third and seven. Reed again drops back in the pocket, and Reed gets tattooed there hard. Another sack, and that's this time it's Williamson as he gets his first sack of the day. Seven sacks already here on our QB. This offensive line needs to do a better job here of protecting our quarterback. And of course, Reed needs to do a better job of reading the field and just getting rid of the football so you don't have this problem that we're having currently. And now Reed here runs this one here. Reed's going to be smart, gets out of bounds as he gets 12 yards. But that's going to be a turnover on downs there on fourth down. It gives him now the Hilltoppers' great field position. Kane now again, now back in the backfield there. He's going to be met up by Miller as he tried to be a smart ass and try to go down the field on a scramble. Take a look here. He's, he's trying to get down there, but that, no, I don't think so, son. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Second and 13 coming up with 3.08 left here in the third quarter. Hands it off to Jerome Bass. Bass here, of course, having a tough time in the backfield there as he spins off of that tackle, but he loses balance. Puts now a third and nine coming up. Kane set in the pocket there, throwing this one up there. That one's going to get tipped away. Nice defensive stop there from the Scotties. And now they're going to go for it here again. Another 53, 54-yard attempt here from the Hilltoppers. Fourth and nine coming up. The kick is up, and the kick is no good. Is good. It's uh, it is good. Nice kick there up the middle, straight up the middle there. Take a look here at the uh, sports update here, studio update, and Virginia leads it by four here with 3:31 left in the third quarter. Number four, Pittsburgh, you're in trouble. Ain't no record right now on the line because you're down by four. First and ten coming up here for the Highland Scotties. As Reed now drops back in the pocket here, scrambles off to the right-hand side, looking for a block, getting down the field. He gets hit hard, but he holds on to it for a nice seven-yard carry. 
Now second and three coming up. Reed here up the middle there to Goffrey. Goffrey comes down with it for reception. And that's the seventh reception of the day. Over 100 yards now for the day. Of course, a nice passing touchdown from the first half. First and 10 there after the uh, reception. As we'll see, Davidson comes out of the backfield there with no gain. As he gets met up right there with one of the defensive linemen of the Hilltoppers. So no gain on that play. We go to a third and 10 coming up. See what they'll do here is a play action here from Reed. Reed drops back in the pocket. Throws this one up there to Ramirez. Ramirez gets the catch. And that's going to be a gain of 16. As he has now got six catches for 106, uh, 117 yards, I believe. 116, 117 yards for the day. As now we'll get to another first and 10 here for the Scotties. Audible here now by Reed calling some uh, different... Uh, routes here for his receivers as he throws this one up to Little. Little gets the catch. Little's going to be met at the 30, no, the 28, 29 yard line as he gets enough there for the first down. Three wide receivers to the left. Of course, tight end there for Jackson on the right. Davidson in the backfield with Reed. Play clock is going to run down here. Reed drops back in the pocket, scrambles off to the right-hand side, looking for a big play down the field here. Can he get to this one down here? No! Intended there for Godfrey and just could not throw that one off his back. He threw that one off his back foot. So it's going to be inaccurate there, and that's going to cause an incomplete pass. Third and ten coming up here for Reed. Reed drops back in the pocket up the middle there to Ramirez. Ramirez gets the catch, and Ramirez is taken down inside the five. I think they mark him around the three and a half yard line for the first down. Nine seconds left here in the third quarter. First and goal coming up here. Man in motion here for the Scotties. As we're probably the last play here in the half or in the quarter. And that's how it's going to be at the end of the third quarter. It is 21 to 9 here in Western Kentucky. As the Kentucky Hilltoppers here. Well. They're having a good day there defensively. They've got us now, what, seven times now with sacks. Uh, but as for score-wise here, well, it's a different story because right now we have not scored since the first half. Uh, towards the end of the first half, here we are now ending the third quarter. Going to the fourth quarter now with Reed here. Throws this one up there. That is to Little as Little gets his second touchdown of the day. Great catch there for him. I believe that's now touchdown number 13, if I'm not mistaken. And it's now going to be a 28 to 9 ball game. So we have a 28 point game in this one. Or, excuse me, a 19 point game in this one. And as you see, this look at the offensive numbers there for both teams here so far here today. Highland looking really good here. First 10 here for the Hilltoppers is man in motion. As Kane drops back in the pocket here, screw, throws this one off there to Bass, and that's going to be a three-yard reception there for a second and seven. Going now to a third and seven here. We'll see if the Hilltoppers can make a conversion here and keep this drive alive here as they got a hill to climb up now. Man in motion. Kane drops back in the pocket, throws this one there quickly to Bass. Bass finds a first down marker and more on that nice reception there as they get the first down. Kane again now throws this one, this time to easily, easily gets the catch. As that's uh, be his first catch of the day, I believe. So 11 yards on that reception. First and 10, Kane again drops back in the pocket, rifles this one over there to the left-hand side. And another receiver there could not get a hold of it. Second and 10 for the Hilltoppers. As Kane again drops back in the pocket. Kane's going to be met up by Miller. How you doing there, friend? Loss of three on the play. Second sack of the day there for Jason Miller. Puts it now the Hilltoppers at a third and 13. Third and 13 coming up. Kane third throws again to Bass. And Bass here fighting him off there, but he's going to get stopped as he gets 11 yards on the reception. Th fourth and three coming up. And, of course, the Hilltoppers are going to go try to go for it here. Hilltoppers here, fourth and three coming up. Try to make a stop. Kane drops back in the pocket, scrambles off here. He's going to find the first down marker, gets there, and dives for it as Miller grabs him at the last minute, and they do convert for the fourth down. First and 10 for Kane. 
Kane here running off here again. Here Kane being tracked down. And he finally gets shoestring tackled there as he does get a gain of nine on the play. Kane, a tricky, slippery quarterback here. He got a good arm here, but it just got good legs as well as you see him being brought down this time for a gain of four. And again, helping the Hilltoppers move the chains. Kane again drops back here, first and ten. And there you see there for that other one, Wells. And Wells gets away from the, or she said Webb gets away from the defender. 27 yards on the reception. First, or touchdown, Hilltoppers. As the Hilltoppers get into the end zone here. On that quick play there, we try to bring him down, but he slips through our fingers there and then gets into the end zone with ease. Touchdown, Hilltoppers, and it's now 28-16. to 16. So they're just down by 16 points here as you take a look. And there you see some highlights from the game so far here. As uh, they're just uh, well, not half, well, yeah, under half there of uh, the highlight Scotties here. Of course, Greg Smith, that monster in that highlight package there, causing havoc there with our offensive line. And of course, to Reed, as we see handoff there to Davison, as they're going to run this one to the left hand side. And Davison gets a couple yards on that carry. Second and four coming up. 28 16 here in the ball game here in Kentucky. As Reed here under center. Ready to get ready to snap the ball here. But of course, just taking the time here as uh hand this one off to Davison there. And Davison trying to find the first down marker. But he will they'll say indicate he is just inches short of the first. So third and inches coming up here for the Hill for the Titan Scotties. Hill stoppers trying to make a stop here, trying to not let them convert here. So we hand off this one to Davison there. And Davison gets a hold of the football. Gets a good hole there and gets through it. It's a first and 10. As Mark Stover made the tackle there on him, but it's too late as he does get the first. First and 10 here for the Highland Scotties. Hand this one off there to Davison. Davison try to get around the edge, but he's going to get caught there. And that's a yard, also the yard there by Mario Gibson. See here, third and 11 coming up here for the Scotties. Six minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Play action here. Reed drops, drops back, fires to Ramirez. Ramirez has nothing but a defender to get through here. Ramirez, Ramirez there gets down to the five. And that's 49 yards on that reception for a huge first down. So we can eat some clock here now and take our time here on this drive, or at least uh, try to finish this drive up with a touchdown. Let's see a toss play there to Davison. Davison tried to get around, but the defense, or one of our blockers just threw the guy right there in our running lane. And uh, Davison could have been in the end zone there, but he's going to be now looking at a second and goal coming up. Second and goal coming up here for the Scotties. Trying to get muscle their way into the end zone here. It looks like they're going to go through the ground game with Flanagan. And Flanagan should have got a touchdown, but they're going to say he's short. And he's on the ground there. Hopefully he's all right as he will be taken out of the game. So Jackson will take a spot there. Third and 11 coming up. Honestly, I think that should have been a touchdown there, but the referees say otherwise. Play card run down to eight, and that's going to be in the end zone. Touchdown, John Jackson. His first rushing touchdown there, one of our backup tight ends. As he's playing fullback here now. And does a great job there getting the end zone. Take a studio update real quick, and we'll take a look here at uh, the final here. 44-45. Uh, wow. Kansas. Trying to knock off Oklahoma State. Of course, uh, Kansas and IRL is playing pretty well, just like they're... Video game counterparts here in this one. Fortunately, you didn't lose that one to Oklahoma State. As Jerome Bass will get a carry there for five. 22 of 31 for the day for Kane. As Kane drops back in the pocket there, throws the one that easily, easily gets this one easily. As King brings him down and gets the first down for the Hilltoppers. Man in motion now for the Hilltoppers. Kane. Again, drops back in the pocket, throws a screen pass there to Easley, and Easley will lose a yard on the reception. 
As it's going to be a second and 11 here for the Hilltoppers. Third and 11 coming up here with 3.36 left here in the fourth quarter. 35-16. Kane drops back in the pocket again to the left-hand side. That one's going to be thrown, and it's going to be caught by John, uh, Jonathan Daniel for the first. Kane drops back again on the pocket screen pass. There you see the good job there to Jerome Bass. Jerome Bass here fighting off the yards. Oh, my goodness, a great stiff arm. And he takes the ball 39 yards on that reception. Touchdown, Hilltoppers. What a fight there to get into the end zone. Hilltoppers trying to make this a game here now. Defense, Highland Scotties, you're on, the, you're on notice now. You got to gotta do something here, put a stop to this. Look at that. Just a great run there and just like, get off of me. Into the end zone. Great run. Great fight there from the Hilltoppers. And now we're going to see an onside kick here from the Hilltoppers. Just like last week against Kansas State. We're not prepared for it. But this time Collins is. He holds on to the football there. And we get the ball near midfield. Didn't realize they were onside kick. And it was already too late to call a timeout. So just had to deal with it like it was. Just like last week against Kansas State. I didn't really notice it until it was already too late. First 10 coming up here. Ball near midfield. 320 left here in this one. As uh, Davidson here will run this one here. Davidson stiff arming a guy. And he'll get a gain of seven on that carry. Over 100 yards now all together here today on the ground from the Highland Scotties. Everybody doing a good job of contributing here today. Second and three coming up here for the Scotties as we'll hand this one off to Davidson again. And Davidson will run this one there. But it is a flag on the field here. And hopefully it's on the red team here. Clipping. Offense. And the clipping usually is an offensive play there, so that is an offensive penalty, and that'll be on us. And it'll be a second and 15 after the penalty. Second and 15 coming up here, ball in the uh, somewhere near midfield. Davidson here runs this one there, and he gets five yards, getting back to the original line of scrimmage there, as he has now 20 carries for 77 yards, and of course, a rushing touchdown. 12 of 17 here for the Highland Scotties. Third and 10. Try to see if we can get another third down conversion here. It's been on our favor here so far today. As we've been making a lot, a lot of attempts here on third downs. Especially we're making trying to make big plays, but Jasper Reed's gonna have to get out of bounds. He gets a gain of eight. It's gonna be a fourth and two. And of course, Jasper Reed says, No, coach, I want to keep the clock running. I want to make it up here. So he'll hand off to Davison here. Davison. Breaks off a tackle, and he'll be taken down there near the 24-yard line for a nice carry from Trey. Uh, for, uh, nice tackle there from Trey uh, Whitaker. Highland Scott is here trying to get the ball moving here. As they, of course, the Hilltoppers made a timeout. Let's see uh, with five or with 151 left. Reed, quick pass there to Ramirez. Ramirez gets the catch, and Ramirez stays in bounds. Keep that clock ticking away, and now. Western Kentucky is going to take their second time out. One time out remaining here for Western Kentucky. 35-23. Second and four coming up here for the Highland Scotties. Recon audible here as Reed drops back in the pocket. Throws this one very quickly to Ramirez. Ramirez finds the first down marker. And then WKU going to take a timeout. That's their last timeout now here in the game. No more timeouts remaining for them. I still has all three. First and 10 coming up. 141 left here in this game. Scotty's looking to uh, try to maybe punch one in here, maybe. And just uh, kind of just try to put it away here. As Davis here runs this one there up the middle. Stays up the middle just in case they need to make a field goal attempt here of some sort. And of course, uh, just uh, so that uh, they don't, in case of a fumble. So third and four coming up. Try to see if we can go here on the first down. We gotta get this inside the five. And more, more or less there in the three. And they do so as it's gonna be a first and goal coming up. 40 seconds left here. We could make one more attempt here at the end zone. Let's try to get a touchdown here. First and goal coming up. And we'll see. Oh, it's a QB sneak here from Reed. And Reed's gonna be stopped there. He only gets two yards on the carry. 17 seconds left here. And they're going to try to see if they can go for it again. 
possibly a, maybe a repeat of the play here. They were so close to getting the end zone there for Reed. Second and goal here. Reed gets in there and pushes himself in there. Gets pushed in there. Nice job as Reed gets a touchdown. Touchdown, Scotties. It is 42. Or I should say 41. Uh, let's take a look here. Where Virginia defeats number four Pittsburgh 38-23. Wow. That is crazy. Phillips goes 6, six of 16, 84 yards and a touchdown. Tough day there for him. Take a look at some other Big 12 games. West, uh, West Virginia takes on uh, Texas Tech 24-34. Uh, Virginia, uh, West Virginia takes uh, Virginia, West Virginia takes that game. Uh, the the uh, Red Raiders. As uh, we'll see the Hilltoppers here trying to get out of the backfield there with Bass. Four seconds left here. Not much for them to do. As this ball game is pretty much over with here. And that is going to be your game. As these Highland Scotties get the victory here. First time playing against the Hilltoppers. And Big 12 play. Congrats to the big uh, to the uh, Highland Scotties as they pick up a nice win here today. Player of the game there, Jasper Reed, 20 of 32, 351 yards there for the day for him, as well as several, uh, actually, what, three touchdowns there for him. So not a bad day here for him at all. He's getting back to the swing of things there, here in the series, as a nice victory here today. Great win. Great job there from everybody. Uh, but I'm more impressed, too, with that defense there. Greg Smith and that, uh, uh, you know, Western Kentucky defensive line. Just brutal with us. and uh, Rightfully so. They did a great job there. I mean, if our line can't keep our quarterback up and uh, our quarterback's just being a, you know, jackass, not getting rid of the football like he should be, uh, he deserves exactly what he gets. And, and those seven uh, sacks there. Uh, the Hilltoppers definitely deserve those. Uh, did, they did a great job there defensively. But, uh, but you know, we found a way to, you know, get down the field here. Uh, they started to sharpen, you know, um, getting more sharper, <laughs> realizing what they needed to do. Uh, so they don't get a loss here, and, and we did a great job there. So uh, hats off to uh, Western Kentucky. Hopefully they'll be able to stick around and stay here in the Big 12. Uh, hopefully the, this loss isn't, uh, doesn't start snowballing for more losses. Uh, for them but as you take a look here at some of the stats there you guys can just check those out here uh, not a bad day both teams uh, surprisingly enough the computer actually called some penalties on both sides two penalties a piece there but of course we got docked with 22 yards uh, yardage penalty yards then to their 10 Jasper Reed 20 of 32 351 yards three touchdowns no interceptions look at that no interceptions but they get sacked eight times in the ball game Davison, 24 carries for 95 yards, a touchdown. Jasper Reed, 21 carries for 36 yards and a touchdown. And, of course, Jackson, one carry for one yard and a touchdown. Uh, so not a bad day there on the ground. Take a look at receiving-wise. Uh, of course, Ramirez had a great day there. Ten catches for 204 yards. No touchdown for him. That's a shame. Uh, Godfrey, seven catches, 102 yards and a touchdown. And, Je and uh, Jeremy Little. Three catches, 45 yards, and two touchdowns there. For a uh, nice day for him. Of course, wish he had some more yards for him. But hey, I think he'll take the two touchdowns more so than he will uh, the yardage, or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, overall, I think this was a good game, a uh, good bounce back game, especially from last week. You know, because uh, it looked very, very, you know, very, very. Uh, even though I haven't played the game for almost what three, four months. Um, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, this, I might need, I should have warmed up a little bit more, a couple more games before <laughs> playing this Kansas State game. But Kansas State has a great defense there. You know, they, they, they really showed up, did a great job there. And I cannot wait to play them more here in the Big 12. But this one, uh, I was, you know, uh, Kane, I mean, I can't say too much about, I cannot say ill will about him. He had a great day, um, passing all over, especially on the ground game. Did a great job there. We just could not contain him, what you know, whatsoever. I was trying to put spies on him. Uh, our spies, for whatever reason, were just kind of you know, you know, seeing pretty butterflies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we wasn't really too focused there. Uh, but Kane, 26 of 36, 218 yards, two touchdowns, and a uh, interception as well. He got tackled. Uh, he got sacked five times there in the game, and of course his longest pass was of course 39 yards there. 
But uh, yeah, great, uh, great quarterback, and I cannot wait to see him. He might be a player that we might have to bring over him, and Jermaine uh, Bass might be players that we have to bring over to our Madden series, uh, as well as Greg Smith, who did a great job here today as well. Because um, uh, that was just really just players that are just like players that we're going to bring over from, our Mad from this series to our Madden series. There's players like that that are just really stick out, and uh, players that I really just like, wow, that, that guy is good. Like, he would be... A, he would be a freaking monster. <laughs> you know, he would be some kind of beast-like in, uh, in in the Madden game. So, uh, but you see, you look at the numbers there. Six sacks alone there from Greg Smith. I mean, that that kid is just, he's only a sophomore. Only a redshirt sophomore. I hate to see what he's going to be like next year uh, when we have to play him again. I think we'll have to play him at home. Uh, if they're here, even if they're, especially if they're here, still in the Big 12 next season. Um, there you see the rest of the numbers there. You guys can, of course, pause the video there. Of course, uh, Jarrell Sheldon, not our Sheldon. <laughs> um, which I miss our Sheldon. <laughs> uh, but uh, nonetheless, there you see, take a look at some of the teams there. We got a couple of recruits. Uh, got a couple recruiting battles. We got uh, Davis, who wants to make a visit coming up. Um, and, of course, so we'll have to set that up. But there you take a look there. We're taking on uh, TCU coming up. Uh, Texas Christian University. They're in... Um, uh, in um, Fort Worth, and uh, we'll take them on four and five for the season so far here in the season here in the Big 12, uh, and we'll try to see what we can do. And uh, like I said, it's a road game there, so our second road game, and uh, should be a good one. Cannot wait. We usually play pretty, pretty, pretty well. Foreign, foreign frogs, and they give us a little bit of an issue sometimes. But so far, what we've played them here, there's been some pretty good and interesting games. Hopefully, we'll not be on upset alert <laughs> again uh, this uh, this this uh, coming in week 12. But uh, you know, anything's possible. So, but that's it for this episode of the Highland Scotty's Team Builder uh, Dynasty series, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to be new. Hit that bell notification so you guys be notified of this series or any other series here on the channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. All our socials down below in the description. As well as check us out over on Twitch as we do live stream over there on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Central. So definitely go check it out over there. It's always a fun time. With a chilled atmosphere. And uh, just, 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 you know, just enjoying company. That's it. You know, just have fun. Um, as well, don't forget to check us out on our second channel over on ESGN Net Plus LP as we have uh, some NCAA content as well over there, uh, like our uh, NCAA series with the Stanford Cardinals, the online dynasty that I played with some friends. Definitely go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the, the complete series is over there right now, so definitely go check that out as well. I'll leave a link uh, down. should be a link down below in the description as well and up in the eye there as uh, also too. So that's it for me. As always, keep yourselves healthy. Go Scotty Nation. I'll see you guys next time.